stage is yours then, Pete. Okay. So how would I go on to that That's the thing that they're going to be using to That next slide? Next slide. Yes, I did. I, I created the same thing that we've been using for a lot of things, your username with the 24 with CCSD. Next slide. Yep. Okay, so the next thing that you're going to have to do is choose a theme for your website. This is going to be like your background and that sort of thing. After you make a domain, a list of themes will appear. There are many great themes. The list seems to be never ending. There are tons of Just keep scrolling through and there are Okay, now Pete, when you're when you're deciding on a theme, how did you pick your theme? Did you did you just know like the layout? Like, what did you think? I just like saw the one that looked the nicest to me, really. Oh, okay. so, so you it went for eye appeal and what you thought you were going to be putting on there, like what kind of projects? Uh -huh. All right, so pick what works best for you. So what he's showing you is like, you make your choice, what pictures and images you want to put on there. I'm going to give you the freedom to do that as well. Now, of course, Mr. Williams gave you some rules, right? That you have to make things that are appropriate for school. So you put, you pick down what you want. He put a little bio, which is something that tells about him. And then you can also insert links and he linked to his teacher's site. Now, you also found a trick out if you wanted more than five pages, right? Uh, no. Down in the class, I thought you found out you were making other domains and linking them together? Yeah, you can't like, actually make the other domain live though. Oh, uh, okay. So you can have it, you just can't make it live. Uh, I see what you're saying. All right. So now that you know that, boys and girls, you have to really customize your link. You know that you, I mean, your web page. You only have five pages to work with. So if you think you're going to have a lot of different ideas, maybe you have one that's just classwork instead of having math, language arts, reading. Instead of having all those separate, just have it this. Or have videos. And then your other page can be uh, stories and things like that. So you got to really think it out so your website makes sense. Yeah. And is yours is yours on there that we can go to right now? It's not linked to there, but yeah, it's on. All right. I'll uh, have you come on over. I'll let you type it in. So, boys and girls, what you're looking at right now, now he's going to pull it up, and I'll let him just work it from back there in the back. I'm going to go up to the URL, and he knows all of his, he knows his web address, so he's typing it in right now. 
and you'll have a similar web address, but it'll be yours with CCSD. Okay, now I'll point up here, Pete, as you're going around and scrolling. So these are the different links, boys and girls, that he has right now. So he has a link to home. What's your other one now? Yeah, this is... And what's that one for? Okay, it's all about how he has iPads in the classroom. Then the next link is videos, and what's that one all about? It has like my miscellaneous, miscellaneous videos that I have made that don't fit into any of the other videos. Other videos. So if he just has other videos, you can do something like that. So that's his third page. Then he has a tab reading and writing a link. And what's your reading and writing link all about? It's like the stuff that we've learned in reading and writing. So things that he's learned in reading and writing, he posts in there. And then, of course, math, probably the same thing, right? All right, uh, will you go to your reading and writing one for us? So how did you get your writing assignments in there? Um, it's, uh, you have them, like, saved in your hard drive, well, your camera. And then you uh, drag a widget for photos, but the only thing with the photos widget is you can't zoom in. If you use a gallery one, you can zoom in. So awesome. So he's going to show you how he does that. Ah, so that's a nice little trick, boys and girls. He said if you put a photo in, you can't make the photo larger or smaller. But there's gallery a gallery widget. So with a gallery widget, then he is able to make the image larger and smaller. So then if your parents want to read what you actually wrote at home, it can pop it up. You want to show us that trick real quick? Just do a pretend one real quick. And then that'll be enough for them to work on for now. And then I'll block out that. And we'll block out your web address again. Okay, so this is what it's going to look like when you go in there, boys and girls. When you go in, it has the layout. You click on what you want to change. These are all the options. So see how the actual website looks different than the editing page? Okay, he's going to talk you through the steps now. So on the iPad, there's going to be an oh, edit button in the top right-hand corner. But on a PC, you just have to take your mouse over here, and you get a little widget menu here. So a gallery. So he's picking the one called gallery. And see how he just clicked it and pulled it over? And then it just drops into place. That's how easy it is. Is where it's going to be. If you you can see that there is going to be a, a a blue line that appears. Now, that's where your widget is going to end up being. And then upload images and then upload gallery photos from your. So that's it. So all you do, boys and girls, he just showed you how easy it is. Once we get into the Weebly, you just click on it drag it over whatever you want and then you load whatever you made and then you'll have your website all right what do we say boys and girls thank you thank you very much pete awesome job we're going to be using you a lot more now to help us with some other stuff how many how many people think we're going to need some more help with pete yeah i think so too he's a he's a great teacher isn't he